everyone, welcome to my channel. It's the Bethy Blue Eyes here, and I thought I would do a different type of video today. Um, I did a video similar to this a little bit longer, kind of back in my kind of library. If you look, some of my vintage finds. Um, but I live in this beautiful vintage apartment with my husband. We are obsessed with finding vintage furniture, charity shop goodies, thrifted items. We're always looking for something new to put in the flat, and um, we particularly like vintage furniture and vintage lighting. Um, again, so I thought I would show and tell some of my vintage lighting and some of the new lighting that I've got that is in vintage style. Um, again, just a quick disclaimer as well, if you buy anything from, this is in the UK, if you buy any kind of electrical item from a charity shop, they have to be what's called pat tested and that is when they're tested to make sure they're safe to use and that they're not going to blow a fuse or electrocute you. They have to be tested before you can actually sell the items. In other countries it might vary, but everything has to have a sticker on it to say that it's been approved. Um, again, if you buy on a market or a cupboard sale, something like that, you can't always be sure that they're going to be safe, but you can have them tested at your local, with your, by your local electricians. So don't be afraid to buy stuff. Um, again, and I just think vintage lighting is amazing. Um, you can get things as well new in vintage style if you don't want to buy kind of secondhand items. But I thought I would give you a quick tour of my vintage lighting, lampshades, little just bits that make my house kind of vintage and fun. Um, I hope you like it. I will show you them. Here we are. This is my first light um, that I bought in Nottingham um, a long, long time ago. As you can see, it's amazing. It's like a glass bowl and the, I mean, it's just got lovely 70s flowers on. It's a light, it glows up, it's amazing. Let me just show you inside. There's boom. And there's all the dust. Um, again, but as you can see, it's a beautiful light. Um, again, I will try and show it on. Let me just turn that on. There we go, as you can see it's lovely, it's really nice in the evening, it kicks off some really really nice light. Um, this was from the 70s, this was £20 in a shop called Hopkins in Nottingham and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and as you can see it sits nicely with my little doggies and cats there as well, my little bird poster. Uh, but yeah really really nice and it's got 70s flowers on, I absolutely love it so that was my first one. Okay. Here is our next one and it is a beautiful lampshade that we got when we went to Lincoln. It is like a paper mache, very fine print um, again and it's a screen printed one, the little fox is all on and if you look it's got trees and it's very opaque and it's just got a look, simple print on it. It's lovely, it's got a mummy fox and her baby cubs, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's made, I cannot remember the designer but this one was £20. It's brand new and um, all hand kind of screen printed and I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous so that's the next one. Here is the other lamp with the foxes on and this has got like a little fox on look little daddy fox looks like fantastic Mr Fox and again this is a printed kind of paper mache one it's beautiful let me just show you underneath bulb goes in there let me just show you the other side because it's fantastic it's another um, kind of fox on there, there's trees, these lovely art deco trees and a grouse and more trees and lovely daddy Mr Fox again but beautiful, a bird, great print and um, again looks fantastic up here and this was from the same shop as the other one it's from a shop called 44 in Lincoln in the United Kingdom Br brilliant selection in there, they had some with stags on as well and these look fantastic when they're on as well but I don't know if it'll show because of the daylight no, it doesn't really show. But again, as you can see, it kicks off a lot of light, a nice warm light as well, but really, really pretty. And again, and probably one of my favourite lights out of our house. Here is my next light. It's a beautiful ceramic teapot with a light attached. Absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, the detail on the handles is gorgeous. And it's like a proper ceramic teapot. Um, again with a lampshade as you can see the bulb goes in there obviously um, this was wonderful this was originally from next it was 25 pounds um, and they also had one with teacups stacked up but i wish i'd got but i didn't um, but this sits in our front room as well on one of our cabinets with all of our knickknacks and bits on and um, i put this on in the evening and it's a great mood light and because it's cream it kicks off a lot of light off the back of the wall and i put it next to my pictures of me and my husband me with my little cousin's baby but yes as you can see it just offsets and I've put it with some doilies and some little eggs that me and my husband collect so that is the next light 
So here is another one of my lights. This one is actually in, looks quite dark, but it's quite a narrow hallway, is in my hallway. It's all covered in seed beads. Um, when the light is off, actually, I don't know if it's going to come up too well on camera. These little tassels are all tiny little seed beads. It's absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, if I step back, it looks like an amazing lantern. I don't know if you'll be able to see how nice it is. I'll try and show you it when it's off. Um, but it's, yeah, tiny little seed beads look. And it's like kind of like an Indian style one, but really, really pretty. Uh, again, I got this from a, a market stall for 50p. And it's just so beautiful. On and off in the sunshine, it looks beautiful. As you can see, it really lights up the room and reflects all the pretty kind of beads everywhere. But absolutely gorgeous. And 50 pence, an absolute bargain. So that is that one. Here is my next light. and uh, This is in my spare room. It is kind of like a cube. Uh, let me see if I can get it focused. It's beautiful. Um, it's like a cube, little square one. And again, really, really pretty just a regular lamp look uh, but I actually customized this it was just regular wood and I just covered it in vintage stamps and um, which was easy I used PVA glue all the way around really really pretty and as you can see it just sits nicely on just sits nicely on my bedside little cabinet and then we've got the lovely little red house one that you've seen before oh by the way sorry i didn't explain this one was from the charity shop this one was 3.99 and then this one we got from john lewis in the sale which is so cute look and there's the bulb inside this is a really cute little light this one is really really pretty let me just pop this one on to show you oops okay it probably doesn't con it kind of come across in the day but yeah it just gives some nice glow and um, I haven't found somewhere to put the, the house one in I've just kind of plugged it in next to this one to show you but really really pretty this was £10 from John Lewis absolutely cute as a button this is my next lamp this is a beautiful kind of fabric work let me show you what it is you can see it's a really really big light looks like a big mushroom or something this one I just absolutely love it all really pretty really intricate detail as you can see really really pretty um it's all fabric with like kind of like a little almost like a lace detail really really pretty let me just turn this one on to show you i don't know if this will come up very well in the daylight but again really pretty and let me show you again it, it's a really nice bright retro -y orange coloured one and this is just my spare room you can see <laughs> yeah really really pretty and it just is beautiful it kicks off loads of light really warm light as well great in winter and this is one of our bedside lights how cute is he this is our little owl that we bought i've shown you in before and um, again he's absolutely gorgeous and this is on my husband's side of the bed with all his manly knickknacks he's musical books his harmonica his man smells but again absolutely gorgeous and again you can see how cute he is i'm going to turn him on see if you can see look at his little eyes he's so happy he's got this little hole so you can see when he's on probably isn't going to translate because it's the daytime but he's beautiful he's ceramic and he was 25 pounds from wilkinson's but absolutely cute and i love him he's so sweet and here is my last one. It's my chandelier in my bedroom. Um, again, it's my one from TK Maxx. I think it was twenty four ninety nine. Has beautiful. Just show you because it's so pretty. I want you to get all the little details. Look at these tiny little birds. The little kind of twinkles, and it's all twigs. Again, and you can see the light in there. But it's so so pretty. Um, again, let me just get it turned on so you can see it on. But really, really pretty and quite Art Deco -y looking. Again, and the, the birds actually, it's not going to show because it's daylight, but they actually shine onto the walls and you can see like outlines of birds. Really, really pretty. And again, this is a new light and this was 24 99